वेलकम टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन एट विद्यालंकर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस डिपार्टमेंट वी हैव टेकन दिस न्यू इनिशिएटिव टू स्टार्ट आवर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड ऑल ओवर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वीडियो वैल्यू एडेड कोर्स वीडियो और एनी अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियोज दिस मटीरियल विल बी अवेलेबल टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दिस मटीरियल विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स Uh, to enhance their learning not just in their classroom but even outside the classroom i hope that everyone will uh, like this our effort and in case of any query comments anything they can put it in the comment box thank you greetings to all welcome to analog electronics one lab now we are going to see the designing of a fixed bias circuit the fixed bias circuit looks like this a collector resistance is applied to the collector a base resistance is applied to the base the given values for a fixed bias circuits are vcc is equal to 5 volt ic is equal to 7.5 milliamp vce is 1.62 volt beta value is 372 and dbe is 0.7 now for design we have to obtain the values of rv rc and i here applying kvl to the output we get vcc Minus IC RC minus VC is equal to zero. That gives us RC is equal to VCC minus VC upon IC. That is RC is equal to four seventy ohm. Now we also know that IB is equal to IC upon beta. That gives us IB is equal to twenty microamp. The beta value is three seventy. Now apply KVL at the input. We get VCC minus IB RB minus B B E is equal to zero. That gives us R B is equal to V C C minus D B E upon I B. That is R B is equal to 2 fifth kilo ohms. Now let us look at the breadboard implementation and check whether our designing values are correct. Uh, as we have obtained the values of R C I B and I R B for a fixed base bias circuit, uh, now let us implement the fixed bias circuit on a breadboard. Here, note that for a BJT that we are using, if we keep the flat surface on top, the rightmost pin is uh, emitter, the middle one is base, whereas the leftmost is collector. E B C. Uh, we have implemented the circuit as per the circuit diagram uh, on the breadboard. Uh, the E pin is connected to ground. Base is given. 215 kilo ohms as we have obtained but the available resistance is of 220 kilo ohms therefore we have used 220 kilo ohms and collector is connected to the vcc with a resistance of 470 ohms now let us obtain the uh, output and check whether the uh, designing is proper or no now let us give the power supply uh, this is the positive terminal this is ground Uh, the volt, the power supply is set at five volts. Uh, now let us check uh, the VC value. We have considered one point six two, so the value that we should get should be near to one point six two volts. Uh, for uh, checking VC, connect your positive or collector and the negative to the E emitter. That is emitter. Here we can see that the VC value that we obtain is 1.92. That is closer to 1.62. Therefore, we can say that our designing is correct in terms of VC. Now let us check for IC. Uh, for IC, for checking IC, we'll connect a milliammeter terminal and the ground to ground. Uh, here we can see that the current IC we obtain here is 8.5 milliamp, that is close to 7.5 milliamp. So regarding IC, also our circuit designing is correct. Now let us check the value of IB. For checking IB, we have connected the positive of multi milliammeter to the. For checking IB, we have connected the positive of microammeter to the base and the negative to the ground. Now let's see the value of IB. Here we can see that the value obtained is 19 microamp. That is very close to 20 microamp that we have obtained. So here we can conclude that the designing of fixed base bias is completed, and the output 
is successful in terms of the given values.